J uh, one and a fifteenth, and uh, Australia up by almost half of one percent. For a close look now at how the Brexit could affect world trade, Eric Schiffer joins us now. He's the CEO of Patriarch Equity. Uh, Eric, okay, stock market losses and gains, that's an early judgment of the impact of the Brexit. So look, look towards the short and medium term while these negotiations about negotiations get underway. What will be the economic fallout a couple of weeks, a couple of months from now? Well, look, I mean, you've got all these situations where no one even knows what's going to happen. I mean, Boris Johnson, we don't know. I mean, this may not even occur. Investors like certainty. Yeah. When you have uncertainty, it could be a lot of volatility for a long period of time, John. And I, I would expect that that's probably going to be with the situation. So, what you're looking at people, uh, no, no capital investment, people pulling up stakes. What exactly? What's going to happen? I talk to a lot of CEOs. Why would I want to invest there right now? I mean, with all this uncertainty, who knows what's going to happen? Why would I want to do it? It makes no sense. And so, I'm hearing more and more of that. I think with that slowdown can come a lot of things. When when corporations don't want to put money in especially into the UK, that used to be the base. Mm. This was the base to get through Europe. If they, if they pull out, if they start slowing down, it will affect the UK, and that has ripple effects all over. Uh, yeah, but it's all gloom and doom. I mean, you've got this lower pound right now. That's good for exporters. That's good for industries like tourism as well. So there will be winners out there, of this. There's pockets, but it devastates the film industry there in the UK. It certainly will slow down hiring. It's going to slow down a lot of things. I think in the net, net, it's, it's a negative. And for investors in, in the markets, it's absolutely because you don't know what's going to happen. They like certainty. Certainty is where you put the money. Okay, economically, the Brits, everyone believes you know, they could be in for some tough times ahead, slower growth, maybe even a recession. But why does it follow that the rest of the world will feel substantial pain as well? Emotions. Just that? Parents, well, I think that's a big piece. I think it's not the largest piece, but I think that if the UK starts to go into recession, that can impact the EU. We're dealing with a very thin, fragile macro global economy. I mean, it's fragile and the central banks don't have the power that they used to have. So all of these things add up. This is not a situation where you can have one thing and not expect some type of contagion. And the reality is with with the uncertainty, with the fact that we don't know whether they're going to even implement this, people are going to stay on the sidelines. Okay, but the, the bottom line, it will all depend on the kind of exit deal that London can negotiate with Brussels. If it's a good deal, it should be fine. But if, if the EU wants to make an example of the UK, go hard, play hard, no access to markets, then it's going to be I really think, painful. I think if they get a deal, yes, that will make a difference. But it's not so easy. You're talking about doing a deal that's very complex, getting people to sign off on this. It's not going to happen immediately. And Boris Johnson, he knows it. I think they're walking it real slow. They're not caring about the markets. They're more interested in the UK. Mm. But the global markets don't know what to think of it, and they're concerned. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Volatility yeah. For, for, for a long time to come, I guess. At least Absolutely. weeks, months.